Hey everyone, today I'm going to be putting uh, together this gorilla cart. Got it from Home Depot. Um, it can um, you can lift up the handle and dump it, and it also has a where you can take either the handle off and then you can use it on your tractor or ATV. And then um, yeah, it's gorilla. It's uh, supposed to be a new design. And I'm gonna put it together. And the reason why I have to get this to put it together is we got 20 yards of this gravel stuff that's gotta go into, we took our swimming pool down cause it broke. And I mean, it just gave way the rust and everything. So we got 20 yards of this stuff and that's why I need that. I I can't afford a, a $20,000 uh, end loader. You know, I know you can rent one, but then we can work at our time, uh, at our leisure time with this. So yeah, got 20 yards of this stuff. So I gotta put the, uh, that wheelbarrow cart together. And uh, I'll show you that when it's all done. The wife is cutting the grass while I put this uh, cart together. Easy step-by-step -step instructions. Shouldn't be that bad. This looks like the dump handle and everything else. But I went on a video, there's a YouTube video. It showed that this goes together pretty quick. So I will see how that goes. I wasn't gonna film this, but I decided I'm, uh, at the last minute I'm gonna film this. So what they say, what's nice about this is that these bolts will lock in to place so they don't, you know, they won't fall out when you're trying to put the nut on there. So we'll see how that is with uh, this type of thing. So, uh, and here, you know, I've put a lot of things together from shelves, bookcases, whatever you want to say, beds, whatever. And this is probably one of the simplest uh, instructions. So you got number one here, number one here, two, two, number three, three, four. Oh wow, look at that plane. We live near a little of an airport. Um, so number five, and then you flip it over in number six. So that's pretty simple. And they say all you need is like um, M13 wrench or an adjustable wrench. I'm gonna use a uh, socket set. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing together. Okay, now that the wifey has moved to the backyard, let's uh, put these in right here. Yeah, those things do stay in. I like that. See that? And when you turn it over, it won't fall out. How many times have we had that happen? All right, turn it over. Yeah, I want to talk so smart. Flips out. All right, and then we got to put this bracket on. So far, so good. Put the washers on. Four bolts. And washers and nuts. All right. When we were picking this out, at the Home Depot. Oh, by the way, at the Home Depot, um, this was the store that we went to. This was $199, you know, plus tax, and it's 200 and something. So if you're looking to get something, that's how much it is. So anyway, my wife was saying to me, is this going to be one of those projects where I'm uh, saying every 
swear word in the uh, dictionary. Well, not a dictionary, but you know what I mean. I said, no, I think this is going to be a uh, pretty easy video. Pretty uh, easy put together. And uh, my blood pressure should be uh, pretty good. Okay, I'm going to tighten those up and then I'll come back and show you my next step. Alright, I got these bolts torqued down to about a thousand foot pounds. No, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. So, um, next thing is I put this bracket on and all I have to do is put it on. Um, Is that going on? Looks like let's go like this. What's the what's the instruction show? show that it's this this plastic piece oh you know what the plastic piece I think has to go in between because there's a little bit of a gap there yeah it's not losing it's not losing there piece on the other one too on the other side here there there now it's just simple putting the bolt in with the washer the bolt in on this side got these brackets here to um, kind of support everything and I think this is a the same size but I need another size for this and I bet it's a 13 so let me see Finch kind of help me a lot. Yep. Yep, I'm going to have to get another, uh, like an adjustable or something like that to hold that. So I'll be right back. All right, got another number 13 so I can hold that. That was step number two. Now we want to go to step number three, which was, is this thing. All right, how does this bad boy go? Right there, right there. Those goes. Oh yeah. 
This goes here, and that goes there. So, that's step number three. All righty. Like I said, this is going together relatively easy. And I haven't even said a swear word. It's nice when something is uh, designed very well and goes gets put together very, really well. Makes everybody's uh, day a lot better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these together and then I'll, co I'll uh, come right back. It literally didn't even take me that long. All I have to do is uh, spin these down, see if I can do multitask. I said it didn't take me long at all to put this this one piece on Says it's what this can hold. That's tight. Okay, now it's time to put the wheels on, which I know they're gonna need some air, but that's okay for now. I mean, I can put the air. So just simply, oh, do I have to put the washer goes on just the way I had it? And then these pins, let's put it up. These locking, or these pins, just like that. I got a couple more tires over here. Washer on. I say this is worth the money of spending 200 bucks because this thing is like going together super, super easy. I can't say it enough. over here so you know where I'm working on there all right gotta go get the two other tires there they are gotta make sure I got the valve stems on the outside because I have to pump it up get the tires up so there again, simply put that in, move this, get your finger out of there. Okay, let me bring you over here.
All right, time to flip over the wagon. I'll bring you over this side. I gotta be careful not to hit my glasses. Oh, that's the dump part, yeah. Okay, so I gotta... That's how that works. All right. So far, so good. Well, you go four wheeling with this thing. It's so high up to the ground. All right, now I think, let me put you over here. Now I think it's that bracket thing over here. Because this is the handle that um, uses, you can use that as a, for the dump. In one step too fast. Okay, so number five, that's what we're on. Six easy steps, and we're almost done. So, which way do they want the bolts? Or to come in this way, huh? Okay. Yep. Because the nuts lock in. I don't know if you can see that. Lock in. You know the time the sun is setting. So let me get the rest of the... But don't throw the thing piece down because then the nuts pop out. Let's get this and then that's pop out all four of them not a big deal I guess it's not like the first time this has happened in my life Here, I thought I could sit down, but no, nope, I gotta get on my knees again. All right, let's work, let's show it from here. All right, two in, two more to go. And that wasn't that bad at all. Okay, time to tighten them down. Working to a thousand foot pounds, right? Just kidding. I think all we need to do is snug them up so then. What you do, you use the handle, see it locks, you just lift this up. Neato. Again, what, like I, what I like about it is you can hook up your, your riding lawnmower or ATV to it. Because where I gotta dump this dirt, I'll show you that in another video. Probably a hundred feet away. 
I could have had the guy dump the load back there, but he goes across my piping on my septic tank and my leach bed. And I'm afraid he might have, he might, you know, ruin it. So best to be safe than sorry. Because we had that leach bed replaced in 2011, and back then it was $6,000. Okay, I think the last step is getting the handle. And I'm sure that is really, 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 really easy to do. So I gotta get that last piece out. It might be the hardest part of the video. Let's use my trusty. Don't cut yourself. There, there's the bolt. Let's go get the handle. There it is. Let's see, how, how do we, there's two ways of doing it. Does the handle curve up? Yep, I had it right like this. All right. So, Put it in there. Take the washer out. Come on. I'm getting a little carried away here. But I gotta get this. Um, here we go. That's what I needed to do is put it in. Put that bolt. Okay. And like that. There it is. And then. What you do here is you can pull the pin. See this pin here? Pull it, pull that, and then that's how you use the to tow it with. And then you can always put it back if you want. Or what they suggest like that, so you don't lose it. So there you have it. Didn't take me that long to uh, put this bad boy together. There it is. Hope you can see it. I know it's getting a little dark out, but we'll have to uh, put it to use. Appreciate everybody watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I think you can even put like wood slats in here if you want to make it taller. You know, you could make this thing taller if you want it. For like if you're hauling leaves or grass or something like that. Or kids. Grandkids. All right. Subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching.